Hi, I'm Nehia, and you? I'm Rhoda. Okay, Rhoda, what's your thoughts on Chad's policy of bringing C to Kumasi when elected as president? Um, it's actually not a bad idea. Um, you're trying to be creative enough to promote Ghana when it comes to tourism. But then, um, why don't we look at the necessities of Ghana first? Because Ghana actually has um, a lot of basic needs that needs to be um, looked at. You know, day in, day out, the youth are growing. Day in, day out, more population, the population increases. So why don't we do something that will be sufficient enough for the youth coming up, for the people coming up? And then secondly, doing this is going to cause a lot of demolition. You know, you are going to demolish a lot. And then um, that means that you have to find funds to replace whatever you're going to demolish. And also, looking at the government we have where someone continues, someone starts something, but then the next government do not continue. That means it's not going to be you know, profitable enough for Ghana. It's just going to cause destruction. Yeah, so I think um, for the meantime, no, because it's going to take a lot of years. Uh, it's, it's not a good idea. So you mean he shouldn't think about creating seed in Kumasi? He shouldn't think about it for now. For now, he didn't think about it because we have a lot of things to deal with. Yeah, a lot of things. The, guy, the country is actually messed up. Yeah, it's messed up. So some things are not supposed to be thought of or even penned down. All right. I think it's possible, though. I mean, what couldn't be done? Talking about a country like um, Dubai. Dubai was actually totally a desert. And then now look at how nice the place is. I mean, water flowing throughout and now you get it. So, yeah. You're talking about Dubai. Dubai was a desert before they were able to, I mean, I modify things, put up things together. But looking at Ghana or Kumase, Kumase is not a desert. Oh yeah, definitely. It's not like we don't have ocean. I mean, oceans around. You get it. Somewhere in Accra, there's an ocean. You get it. So it can be channeled up here to, I mean, um, Kumase. You get it. Just that we is the fans that. I mean, the people that are going to support him, I think he has to come into collaboration with a whole lot of, I mean, organizations that are going to help him, I mean, initiate what he thinks um, it's right to do, I mean, to bring the sea here. So I think it's possible, though. To me, it's possible. I think it's a great idea. It's a nice vision. Um, but I think we Ghanaians are only worried about the possibility and then the feasibility of the policy, right? So possibility, I say it is yes, but the feasibility of it, no. We are looking at how certain something can be done easily. Yes, it's good. He can dredge a sea from Accra to, uh, I mean, Kumasi. But let's look at what the people of Ghana or the people of Kumasi actually need for now. Um, if elected as a president is to dredge a sea to from Accra to Kumasi, that is not what we actually need in Ghana or in Kumasi. We don't actually need that one right now. We should look at the primary things we need as a country. What is happening? What do we actually need right now? So for me, it's a nice policy, but no, for people of Ghana, as it stands now, we don't need it right now. Now we know the inflation is very high, right? So if Sheda is elected as a president and in one way or the other he tried to reduce inflation, then we all in one way or the other will benefit from that fact. Think about it this way, if inflation is low, then it kind of affects all sectors within the country. Yes, so personally in Kumasi, I think he should rather be thinking about some kind of um, hospital infrastructures, I mean, trying to help people around with hospital facilities. Of course, if you go to the hospitals, we have people that sleep on the floor because of outage of, and then they discharge some other people to because of space, just to accommodate new patients and stuff. So we should rather look into that aspect and then come to our schools or even our local communities. We have people that sit on the trains. Some do not even have some kind of basic facilities or basic needs or equipment in the school. So we have people still writing on blackboard instead of maybe some whiteboard or something just to facilitate teaching and stuff. And look into our tertiary education kind of thing. You realize that um, there's a lot going on. People actually need places to stay. So maybe if, if there's a way he can build around hostels or any kind of thing, just to support students in any way he can. I think that's the best thing to do than looking at dredging a sea from Accra to Kumasi. No, it will do more harm to rest than good. I think so. To me, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary to. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
why are you saying it's not necessary for him to create C in Kumasi? I think there are major issues to be addressed than creating a C in Kumasi. Like building a hospital, schools, there are better things to be done than creating a C in Kumasi. It's a minor issue. It can be addressed later, but now I don't think it's important.